In this video, we're going to show you how to set your 2021 production goals. And then we're going to show you how do those goals actually show up in command. So I'm here in the homepage of command and we're going to click this little gray green banner. Set yourself up for success by setting your 2021 goals now. Now I've got my previous goals here below and you'll see things like leads that it's tracking, appointments, under contract, closed units year to date. Those kind of things are going to be here. And this is going to track it and give me my breakdown for the year. So we're going to start with set my 2021 goals. And what you're going to expect out of this guide is basically we're going to set your goals, look at your conversions, review your goals, and then what's next. So let's click get started. Now, what is your goal for 2021? Now, it defaults to the millionaire real estate agent 1 million. However, that might be a bit much if you're starting out, if you're new. So I'm actually going to get rid of one of the zeros and we're going to drop it down so that instead of it being a million dollars, we're going to do $100,000. I still want to have a mix of my listings, 50%, buyers, 50%. If I want a balanced business, if you are a buyer's agent, just lower that down. If you're a listing agent, lower that down as well. I don't believe you can put zero, but at least go down to like 5%. Average commission per unit. Now in my area, our average sales price is a little bit higher. So if my average sale price is closer to 9000 um, I can put 9,000 here. So put in whatever you think your average market center one is, and that will help you with predicting your income. How much leases are you gonna do? I'm gonna leave that blank, but you can add it if you work with leases as well. Perfect, so we've added those numbers here. So my goal now is $100,000 of profit. I need to make $8,300 a month to be on target for that. My expenses may not be quite the 7,500, this is going to be your cost of sale, so that could be your cap at the market center. So I might just put in here, uh, if I'm on a full cap, 23000 If I am part of a team, I would change that. I'm going to spend probably about 7500 here. Then we're going to click Next. Perfect. Now it's going to look at your conversion rates. Now this is going to automatically put in leads and then to a contact, to an appointment, to an appointment kept, agreement, under contract, closed. It's already populated some based on just the millionaire real estate agent. You can modify these if you think you're going to get closer to closing different things and put your own numbers in there. In the future, it's going to actually look at your conversion rate and automatically fill this in in the future. So these are some pretty default ones that you can leave there or you can modify them down. If you're newer, you might want to change it to maybe 50% so that you can build the skill to 75% or higher. Just know no agent does 100% of everything under contract goes to closing. So 75% would be a good fallout. You want the fallout in case it doesn't close. Perfect. We're going to save and continue. Now this is the breakdown. I need to earn $130,000 next year if I want to net $100,000 of profit because my cap and my commission split with Keller Williams is going to be $23,000. I might spend about $7,500 or so, maybe $10,000 on operating expenses for the year. You can put that in. You can always come back and change these if you just want to start with something. This is how it's going to break down. I need $90,000 of income from my listings and $90,000 from my average buyer to break it up. Perfect. So now we're going to click what's next. And now you can go to smart plans, reports, different things. So let's go to the home screen. So now I have set up my 2021 goals. Obviously, we're still into this year, so it hasn't changed this widget yet. But I can come into reports, and in reporting, we're going to see our 2021 goals. If I go to goals here, here's my 2020 goals, and then here is my 2021. Now, they're still not starting yet. Notice it says zero months, 20 days, 16 hours until this kicks off. So you have 20 days and 16 hours until the end of 2020, and that's really when this is going to take place. Now, notice it's got a bucket for leads. That's going to be anybody with a little L next to their name. So when I was looking at my 2020 goals, I had 150 different leads that had come in that I'm working on. Now I have a bunch more as it does come in, but 164, that's my contacts. 632 were added year to date, 153 leads. These are ones I ran recently with Facebook. So I'm actually feeding the system and they're coming in. Once I uncheck the box of a lead and they're a contact or I add somebody as a contact, not a lead, it's going to go into our contacts and how many I need to have year to date. My goal was to add 164 people in order for me to actually get where I need to go. So as you can see, I had a really high lead goal, but I didn't add enough leads this year to meet that. 
Appointment set. Now this is going to be from an opportunity. So when you create an opportunity, there is an option for appointment set. So if yours is showing zero like mine is, I had set appointments, I didn't go into opportunities and check the little button to say was the appointment set and when it was. So best practice is to start doing that right away. I will show you here if I open opportunity in a new little widget and I create an opportunity. This is going to be the basic stuff you enter of an opportunity. So this isn't where I can put in my appointment set date. But if it was like a buyer and I come into here and let's say it was this is what I did yesterday and I edit the information and I come to appointments scheduled and let's say I set it for well, this is for the 11th. We'll say we set it for the 9th and let's say we had the appointment on the 11th and as I start filling in these dates, you're going to see my reporting widget update. So if I refresh this now, it is going to show you my leads, my contacts, appointment set, might take a little bit of time to update, there's for the month, but that's where it's getting the data from. Appointments kept, agreement signed, under contract, when I actually move it to under contract, closed units. It's my buyer, and I'm going to actually move this over to appointment. Under appointment, I'm going to actually schedule it, move it over to scheduled, move it to kept. As I'm moving them along the way and I come in and update the details of this to fill in all of the dates, this should be updating all of your stuff there. Agreement one, let's say we want it on this day and we haven't gone under contract yet and we don't have a close date yet. Perfect. I'm hitting save on that. I'm going to refresh on my goals. So there's probably a delay of 24 hours till that comes in, but that's how it's actually supposed to be working. So there are the goals for next year. I need to have 1,800 leads that come in. I want to add at least 92 new people to my database to get the business I need. I've got to have four appointments set, four appointments kept, my agreements, and everything that I'm coming through. And then here is the breakdown of everyone that I've added. All of my activities are tracked. How many people are on smart plans? 560. How many have gotten text messages from me, emails, meetings, searching neighborhoods, notes, other, it's all tracking it. So set your goals for 2021. It doesn't actually kick off until 20 days from now. However, you can set those goals, start actually using the system, move the things along as they go, and this should update. I will keep you posted to make sure that mine updates what's in the next day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, you can follow me on KBD Connect and YouTube today.